Hello, my name is Lukas Oldenburg from DIM28 and I'm going to show you how to get started with the PBIC Pro Manager Google Sheets extension. First, you open a new Google Sheet and name it something like PBIC Pro Manager and then your company organization name. Then you go to the um, app script template or not template, app script, you get the app script code that you need for, uh, for running this. Um, I'll provide the link in the show note but you can just um, go here and then click on raw and then copy everything and then go back to your sheet and click on extensions, app script. So here we are, you simply paste the code from GitHub here. Note that on the top there is a version number. So whenever the GitHub version updates, you should update this app script as well. Also give it a good name, Pivot Pro Manager, and then your company name, rename, and then you have to press Control S to save, or on Apple, I guess it's uh, Command S. Um, then go back to the sheet, and you should now reload it. Then you'll see Pubic Pro Manager DIM28 and you can now click set up and first you need to authorize the script and you'll get the scary warning don't worry allow it And now you have to wait a bit until the tabs are imported. Once it's done, you see this message that, yeah, you have to understand that this tool comes without any guarantee or liability. And you also have to confirm that you have created API credentials for a user that has the necessary rights to do what you want to do with this tool. I mean, if you want to edit custom dimensions, the user that you're setting this up for, of course, needs to have the right to edit custom dimensions in the particular sites. So click yes. And now we have to provide our PWIC account code or subdomain. So usually your PWIC address is something like mycompany.pwic.pro. In this case, it would be my company. If you haven't done this, go to your PWIC Pro um, settings. It's under your account name. And then you get to API keys and then you can create a new key. I'll do this now. Lucas key Pubic Pro Manager. So here we have the key and the, the client ID and the secret. So let's take this and copy it back. So first the, uh, again, the account name, or the account code then the client ID, and finally, the secret. And as you can see here, it's now initializing the um, account, testing if you can actually log in with these credentials. You see here the progress, initializing client configuration, finished setting up the client configuration, now validating, and so on and so on. And if everything was right, you'll get the success message here on the bottom. Now the first step is to go to the sites tab and now you can actually use this. Yeah, you click sites, refresh sites to populate this tab with the sites in your Pubic Pro Manager, in your Pubic Pro account. So let's give it a couple of seconds. And here they are. Now, important to understand is you have to um, many accounts have many, many, many sites and not all of them are relevant. So the more sites you select here, the longer it will usually take to populate any of these other tabs because the more data the Pubic Pro manager needs to get gathered from Pubic Pro, the, the longer it will take. The maximum uh, number of time, the maximum time it can, one, one action can take is nine minutes. So if you really have a lot of sites, make sure you restrict them also just for the sake of working more efficiently. But let's say I want the data now for th these three sites. Um, that means the tags, tag details, variables, etc., etc., 
these um, tabs will be filled with data for these three th three sites and not for the rest. So now let's run Peric Pro Manager, um, for example, custom dimensions, click refresh custom dimensions. It will take you to the custom dimensions tab and it will gather the custom dimensions for the three sites that I have selected. Oh, and when it's done, it's writing them into the sheet. Um, in this case, only one of the sites called DIM28CH had uh, custom dimensions. These other sites, Lucas Testing 2 and Testing 3, don't have any custom dimensions yet. So the first step would be to clone whatever is in this first container to these two other sites. So this is one thing you have to do on the sites tab. Everything else is done on the custom dimensions tab. So here in the clone custom dimensions tool, I select the sites I want the custom dimensions to be cloned to, two and three. And then I select extensions, Pure Pro Manager, custom dimensions, sync, uh, clone custom dimensions. I can do this from here or from the sites um, menu. It's the same. So now important to understand what does cloning mean? It will clone the custom dimensions from DIM28CH from this site to the other sites that I've just selected in the clone column. Cloning means that new custom dimensions will be created in the destination sites with the same slot, the same tracking ID, and the name and the settings as in the source site. So this will not work. This will not do anything. It will just abort. There's no uh, reason to be afraid. But if your destination site already has a different con uh, custom, custom dimension setup, for example, slot one and, and, and uh, tracking ID one is already reserved for something else, then this will abort, this will not do anything. So it works best if the destination sites are still empty or if the current setup of the destination sites is identical to the um, uh, to the source site apart from um, some higher tracking IDs that are still missing. So for example, if you have tracking ID one to 10 uh, and uh, one to 10, uh, one to 10 in the source side and one to 10 in the destination side. And, uh, but the source side also has 11 to 20, but the destination size doesn't have 11 to 20 yet. It will create 11 to 20 in the destination side. So let's click okay. Cloning custom mentions, please wait. So it's finished. Now it says refresh custom dimension list to see the changes. So let's go back to our custom dimension list and we have to refresh this custom dimensions, refresh custom dimensions. So again, it will create the data and it will write it to this tab. And now we see DIM28 custom dimensions, one, two, th one through 10 have been cloned to these two other sites. Very nice. So what if you want to edit a custom dimension? Let's do this. For example, let's give this wonderful name of renamed and this one as well. You see that once I edit it, the edit column gets this yellow edit mark here. Or, and I can also then select sync. So I can again say sync this to two and three. I can basically select this for all of the custom dimensions because now I can basically say whatever I do with custom dimensions in DIM28 shall be synced to these other two sites. That way I can keep custom dimensions in sync and don't have to like go into each site and update them and then they start being named differently and all the chaos that you usually have with uh, multi-site setups in Pubic Pro. So again, I click custom dimensions and then I see edit and sync. So I could also just edit them. Then it would just edit it in this uh, DIM28 site. But if I say edit and sync, it will edit it in the DIM28 site and then later sync the changes to these other sites that I've selected here. So let's try that. Yes. So it's finished the syncing now. Let's see what the result is. We should have, yeah, you see here now custom mention five and six have been renamed to renamed in the other two sites as well. 
And this is just a sneak peek into custom dimensions. You can do very similar things with tags and variables and triggers, even more than that. Um, but I'll keep this for another video. Thank you for watching and have fun with the tool.